Are we rolling? We're rolling. We're rolling. All right. So you, my wife, have been learning to make sourdough. And one of the problems that uh, my wife has been having is that when you... Where's the starter? No, it's off camera. When you have a sourdough starter, you have to feed it every day and you have to throw away a lot of um, the starter. And last night, my wife found out that you can actually, instead of tossing the starter, my wife found a recipe. She's behind the camera. Found a recipe um, to use the starter to make, I guess, a breakfast thing? Something for breakfast? breakfast? or snack. Or a snack, okay. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be chopping up some scallions or cutting some scallions and adding to this starter mix. I'm not sure what it's called. And these scallions, we uh, brew them. Yes, these are, the <laughs> yeah. So you get some scallions, you put them in water and you grill them. But you already know that, don't you? And I need a knife. Uh, or I could just use a scallion, I mean the scallion, the scissors and just snip them in. These aren't as green because they haven't been getting a lot of sunlight yeah, they're recently. And this is like like the sixth trim. Or oh, you've you've used this a bunch of times already, right? Right? Nope. No? You've never used this? Nope. You've never trimmed this one? Not this one. Oh the ones outside? Yeah. Okay. Because I saw some trimmings on this, on the smaller ones. Alright, so we're just trimming this in here. And now we're gonna add some black pepper. Uh, I'm just doing aga aga, which means, I remember I was watching Gordon Ramsay and he was in Thailand, I think. And the lady was saying aga aga, which means just, just go and eyeball it, go what you're feeling. I think that's enough. And then salt, there's salt in the sourdough starter, right? So I'll probably just add a sprinkling. So, my wife is always thinking that when I'm doing like this, I'm adding too much salt, but actually, this is the amount I'm adding. So this is the amount I would probably add into the starter. If anything, I can always add salt afterwards. We'll see. I've never made this before. And I add a little bit of thyme. Do you have paprika? Let me grab some paprika. Oh, let me see. Uh, I'm probably gonna grab a little cumin. I love cumin. Uh, should I add MSG? No, let's not add MSG. Let's figure out what it tastes like first. Parsley. And I don't see any paprika. Oh, it's right here. Ground paprika. All right, let's see. Yep. Nope. Did not trip up myself. All right, and I will add too much of each. Boom, 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 boom. So a bit of parsley, a little bit of paprika. I like to see a little red in my stuff. And a little bit of cumin. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna clean up. We're gonna reset the table. Reset. I like to clean it as I go. Because when I was in high school and I was doing just emptying hold here. Um, I like to clean as I go because when I was in high school and I used to do food and nutrition, my teacher would would really stress that we clean as we go. And this is something that I have been trying to stress in my house, in my family. All right, so I'm just gonna mix it up. I've never done this before. Never done this before. I'm just clean off here a little bit. So that by the time I'm done, I don't have, I don't have anything to clean up because I already cleaned while I was filming and while I was cooking. Um, so I mixed this up. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I grab my camera cord and we're going to bring this over. Up. 
first thing first, I'm gonna turn on my burner and add some oil to my pan so that the oil gets heated up with the pan. All right, I think that's enough. Like I said, I haven't seen this recipe before, so. All right, can not stop rolling. How do I know when the oil is hot? I have been trying to remember. How do I know when the oil is hot? Without adding something. I think sometimes you'd add a crumb or something to it. Stop rolling. I'm going to try to add, uh, I'm going to try to add, I was blocking the camera. Add this green onion. It's not really sizzling, is it? I guess it's not that hot yet. Stop rolling. All right, so my oil is, oil is steaming. I think it's ready. It seems a little thinner and flowy. So, hopefully this doesn't stick. I'm gonna lower my flame, which I think shows you already lowered. And try this quick bit, huh? all of it. One big pancake, all right, let's try. Yeah, I was trying to get the oil under it because the, the oil tends to pool towards the side of this pan. So I probably should have scraped it towards the edge first and then allow it to displace the oil towards the center. But we'll see. Hmm? Yeah, I was trying to get everything. Oh, it's sliding though, so it's good. In the video that you're watching, do you remember? Um, do you remember what the consistency was? What you're looking for? Okay, fritter. How do we know when this is cooked all the way through? I am guessing that you wait until you see that the top of it is dry, which is a few white spots. Okay. You know, like when, like a pancake. You know when the pancake is almost done. I always used to look at the sides as well to see is the flame too low I'm wondering no, it should be on low flame Not, it's just that for this pan. oh for this pan so it's better to have a slow cook mm -hmm. All right, am I blocking my light I'm blocking my light I'm not blocking my light anymore. All right. This is actually rising. Mhm. Mm okay. Am I giving shadows? Can I do a Can I do a dog on it? A birdie? A birdie? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's risen a lot too. So this is where you're saying that it's almost there, like the edges are starting to dry out and the top is... Yeah, the middle is starting to dry. The wet spots, there's a bubbles in there. Uh, let's see if I can get, grab me a spatula. Uh, you can find a spatula. Alright. Got me a spatula. Ready to flip? Yeah. Okay, alright. And the reason why we're doing this is because I don't believe in waste. Like, I don't like to waste food. I think it's a tragedy. So, like, we're always trying to um, I'm also looking at this. We're also try. We're always trying to. To see, I lost my thought because you're moving me around. We're always trying to reuse things or not make things go the way. So whether it's the green onions, regrowing the clippings from the green onions, um, 
or doing this or turning a failed patty recipe into something else we're always trying to reuse and not waste because because we're poor we're poor people you can't waste when you're poor <laughs> so the question is how do we know when this is ready do we just like speculate do we wing it how do we know I say five minutes five minutes so should I set a timer kitchen timer I think two minutes have already gone already right uh, let's just put four one minute one all right so while our timer is going on over there we can always just clean up as we go all right I'll come back to this All right, so with my spatula, I think it's cooked on the side. Hopefully, it's cooked all the way inside as well. And let's bring it to a cutting board and see. So, and let's cut into it. See if it's cooked all the way in. I think so. Oh, it's a gummy. Is it cooked all the way in? Look so. Let's let it cool a little bit. A fritter. Let's see. What is this right here? Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, so see what this tastes like. Interesting. It has like a cheesy, tangy kind of vibe to it. It's crunchy on the outside. It has this like citric lemony kind of like tang to it it's interesting and I can also definitely taste the green onions and the salt it's okay what would I have this with cream cheese with a dip do I have a dip do I have a dip? Do you have a dip? No. What's about me? You can let's see what sauce is right here. There's ketchup. Oh, <laughs> ketchup. Probably with um, some kind of soy sauce. Alright. So, while you're, while you're looking at that, and you're probably tasting it, let's try this. That's called a trip cord. That should never be there. The problem. Um, no. good old butter. It's a sweet sauce. It's a sweet. Um, it's a. But that's for you. I'm trying stuff. <laughs> this is me now trying stuff. All right. It's a sour dough. Mhm. Mm so I think it will go okay well with some kind of like sweet Chinese sauce, like sweet and sour sauce. I'm try with some butter. You can't go bad with butter. Are you getting this? See if this goes well with butter. Mm hmm. Definitely does. What about avocado? Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, this avocado seems like it's a little, a little past, a little too soft. Mm. Twist. Let me do my savage movement. And this will be my semi breakfast because I haven't had breakfast yet. How are we doing? Are you getting this? Are you getting me? Like this that. is like avocado toast, but <laughs> sourdough. Sour. 
Mm. I don't know if it's the avocado or this, but would not recommend it. Mm -mm. Yeah. I don't think it pairs well. I think the the flavor of the sourdough. I think the flavor of the sourdough is too bright. You like it? I think the well maybe the demo I had. Let me try it. <coughs> I think the flavor of the sourdough doesn't appear, it overshadows the avocado. So it's almost like the avocado is not there. To me, it's like, it's not there, like, they're supposed to blend well together. But this just overshadows it. So it's almost, if this overshadows the guacamole, the avocado, the point where you don't know that, that it's there. You don't need to add it. You need to, you know. What about honey? What if I put some honey on it? Let me try. Some Kirkland wildflower honey. Product of Argentina. Ugh! What if I had avocado, honey, and sourdough? It's a nice crunch. Hmm. You're right. The sweet lines appear really nice with this. Mm hmm. Want me to make some for you? Okay. Next time I'm gonna try it with avocado. <laughs> it's gonna be probably gross. Okay, I'm gonna give you this one. Well, I guess we'll be having <laughs> sourdough, whatever, frites, <laughs> whatever they call this, for a while. <laughs> Since you're gonna be having that starter. I think you said you wanna make sourdough naan. I'm sure somebody else has made it before. <laughs> we're, we're not this clever in life to think that the ideas that we come up with are popping into our head have never been taught by people who cook every single day. Honest? The sweetness from the honey isolates the avocado enough so you can taste everything together. So, do you think it would have been cool if we added a little sugar to the dough? Mm, I think it's fine that it's not in it, it's outside. So, all the flavors are isolated. Okay, all right. That was good. That was good. I say, okay. That was good. <laughs>